Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Caitlin and today I'm testing a few new products I recently got. Um, I partially wanted to do this because I just got them in and I was so excited to play with them, but partially because some of these brands are still doing Black Friday sales through the weekend or maybe even Cyber Monday. So I've got some indie brands, Lethal Cosmetics, Sugar Drizzle, and uh, Glam Light, of course, that I really want to play with and to show you a little bit more of some products. I mean, look at that. Um, if you're interested, I have both the Scooby-Doo Glam Light palettes, so this is going to be two different palettes and two different looks along with pulling some other fun products. Ugh, also, Laura Lee Los Angeles, the blush aesthetic palette, just so good. So yeah, if that sounds good to you, keep on watching. Before we get too far into the video, if you haven't already, please consider clicking that subscribe button. I upload a couple videos to a week. It's totally free to subscribe and I would love to have you again back on the channel. All right, let's get into look number one. All right, so base is done, and the first look is going to be with the Creeps and Crawls 10 shade palette, looks like this. This is the more like bluey, purpley one. I have a couple other items to try today too. I have a couple other items today to try as well that I'm really excited about from Lethal Cosmetics and Sugar Drizzle. So here's the palette if you haven't seen it yet. Oh, those shimmers look so good. Okay, so I'm gonna start with my Ace Beauté P1 brush, and there's no shade names, unfortunately. Y'all know if you've watched my channel for a while, that's one irk I have, but it is what it is. So I'm starting with this lightest pinky-ish purple, more, it looks more cool tone to me, and I'm gonna put that as my crease shade here. I did already use eyeshadow primer. Okay, so far so good. I watched a couple other videos on this. I watched Angelica Nickfuss and um, Batty Bean. I was really curious on Batty Beans because I wanted to see her compare the other palette, the one I'm gonna be using in the other look, to her It's Freaking Bats collab. They are different, so I feel like okay that I own both at this point. But anyway, I was worried because when I saw both their videos, these mattes looked a little patchy, but at least with this shade, I'm not really seeing or experiencing any of that, thank goodness. Next, I'm gonna go in with my Morphe JS6 brush and I'm gonna take this kind of like more, I don't know, burgundy, deeper pink color. And I'm just gonna put that on the outer portion of the eye. I'm taking a little of what's left on the brush, no additional product, and just putting it on the outer third of my lower lash line and connecting it as well. Okay, now I'm going to go with the flat brush. This one's from Cleona, and I'm going to use a couple different shimmers. I'm going to start with this um, kind of purpley, but it's got interesting, like, the reflect in it. I'm sure the camera won't pick it up, but it looks like kind of like bluey and champagne reflect in that one and then on the inner portion I'm gonna go for this more wow it looks different there we go that's more like what I see it as it looks a little different this way so I guess we'll see if it's like duochrome or what the deal is but I'm not gonna use any glitter primer because I think these are kind of like the shimmers in the Michaela palette that like they just really don't super need it and they can in fact like crease a bit if you do use glitter primer at least in my experience on my um like shape and texture of eyelid those are really pigmented i feel like a little bit goes a long way on the shimmers i'm just using the same brush by the way i just like flip to the opposite side for the other shade oh that one's really pretty it does have like a little bit of a blue flip like reflect in it and then I'm just gonna like where they meet in the middle kind of go back and forth with both sides of the brushes and blend it out a bit. I will say with these palettes, well at least this one, I feel like you can only get like mid-tone to dark looks with it on its own. I would have liked to see like maybe something a little lighter shimmer wise but I personally have plenty in my collection that it's not really a problem for me to pull and, you know, pair with something else. And then I'm just going to go with the first brush, kind of blend in the crease a little again, and then on the inner portion of the lower lash line, where I have that, like, lightest color there. Yeah, I think that's just going to be a simple little something like that for this first palette, but I am going to play around with 
my other new products. Okay, so instead of like a dark liner, I'm gonna use this. This is from Sugar Drizzle. This is in shade Crown Wood Nymph. I tried in another look, I'll flink it if I can find it, to use the Rosemary Beetle one. I got it in multiple shades as like a graphic liner and I had to totally abort. It just was not going well. So I'm gonna use this just as a normal liner on my upper lash line. I thought this would look good with it because it is kind of like a purpley, pinky, blue, shifty color. My only gripe with it so far is that I have to dunk in a ton of times to get enough product. But at the same time, I will say you can be very precise with a small brush like that. So it's kind of like a pro and a con. I like this color. It kind of reminds me of, there's one from JD Glow I have that's shifty like this. I like that. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and recreate it on the other eye. Um, and let's see, I'll throw in some mascara and then I've got a new highlighter palette and lip to test out. Again, that's Crown Wood Nymph. I know I said I would do the mascara next, but I can feel it's not dried down. And if I curl my lashes right now, it's just gonna like transfer and come off. So I'm actually gonna go to the highlighter palette next just so I can give this time to like set down fully. Also from Sugar Drizzle, I got the Mini Glow Cube Palette. This is the 9 pan iridescent white color shifting eye and face highlighting palette. It's a mouthful. So straight on, it just looks white, but let me see if I can, I don't know if you'll be able to see maybe a little bit there, their colors. There's nine different colors. There's pink, blue, gold, orange, a couple different greens, a purple, yeah, just really interesting. So I'm going to go for, I think, I think this bottom corner one looks a little purpley. It's so hard to tell too with these. So let me do a little setting spray first just so we get a really blinding moment. Okay, now I'm going to try to dunk in with the highlighter palette. But these are, I will say, like so incredibly tiny. Like here's the normal highlighter brush I use compared to the pan. So we'll see if we can dunk in here to it and just get that one shade. Oh yeah, that's a very pretty lavender-y purple. Oh, I love that. Oh, you guys, that is so nice. I love how iridescent it is. I'm just gonna buff it a little bit in place so it's not like a complete stripe in one spot. Oh my goodness. Oh, oh. Me and this palette are gonna have some good times together. I can just tell you that right now. Oh, that's so pretty. And as like this purpley, almost like a blush topper moment. That's beautiful. Okay, I'm very happy with this purchase. Look at that, oh my goodness. That is galactic. Oh, I like that so much. And basically, I, if you do have a big brush like me, I just kind of like pinched it to get into there so that I wouldn't get the other shades. Oh, I'm so excited to try more shades, you guys. Yes, Sugar Drizzle. You are out here just killing it, honestly, killing it. Okay, I think the liner's safe now for me to curl and do mascara. And then we've got the lip from Lethal to try. I feel like my mascara is kind of drying out and not working as well as it was, but it is what it is. Okay, so from Lethal Cosmetics, this is the Lumen Lip Gloss. Oh, I've been wanting this. This is in shade Duality, and it is kind of like yellowy gold with like greenish reflect. So I honestly don't know how well it'll go with this look, but I just want to try it so badly. Honestly, I feel like this will go really well with my top when I zoom out. I love the fact that you can see the reflect, but it is not gritty whatsoever because that's my one thing. Anytime it's like glittery enough or shimmery enough to me, then it's like too gritty. And I'm just wearing it like bare on the lips. Imagine it over a darker like a lipstick or like a black lipstick. Mmm. Oh, I am happy with my purchases today. All right guys, so here is look one completed. I've got this kind of like purple top with this yellow collar and it's got like yellow, oh, only on the side, stripes down one sleeve. It is a uh, Fila shirt, soccer shirt, 
But yeah, that's why I thought this gold gloss would go so well. And then I did end up popping in the waterline the ColourPop BFF Cream Gel Liner in shade Extra Frosting just to give it a little bit of like slight yellow in the waterline too. Um, yeah, this is great. I will say the only thing that I have discovered with the Lethal Gloss is I put two coats on hoping to like build up the shimmer and it got a little goopy gunky, you know, the way that the gloss gets a little stringy. So note to self, even if you want to build up the shimmer, like it will get gloopy gloppy if you do too many coats. So probably just a one coat situation would fix that. Oh my gosh, that highlighter, you guys. Um, yeah, I, I love everything about this. I'm so happy and let's go ahead and get into the second look. All right guys, here we are for look number two. I've done pretty much just my base at this point. And today we are playing with the other Glam Light collab palette with Scooby-Doo. This is the Rut Row Raggy 10 shade palette. So it's the same situation, same pan size, um, just a different color story for this one. Again, these are included in the 40% off site wide Glam Light sale for Black Friday. If they're still in stock, I haven't checked. Here's the color story for this palette, but definitely more green. The other one was more like purple blue leaning. This definitely still has like purples and blues as well. Same situation with the mattes on the bottom and the shimmers on the top. So I'm wearing like a pink top. So like purple would probably go better, but I'm doing green anyway. I did already prime my eyelids. I'm going in with my Ace Beauté P1 and I'm gonna use this like greeny chartreuse shade. Like I said, I did watch um, Betty Jean's video, aka Batty Beans video, comparing this to her collab with Shroud Cosmetics, It's Freaking Bats, and the colors were different. Like, even the ones that were similar were not the same when it came to the undertones, the opacity, things like that, and the formula is quite different between the mattes and the shimmers. I don't know if I like one more than the other. Mm, I might say I like the Shroud Cosmetics one slightly better, honestly, just because um, you have to work for it less, I feel like, with that one than this particular formula. But this isn't bad, and I do feel like they'd be fun companion palettes. So maybe I'll do a look one day using these two palettes together. You guys let me know if you'd be interested in seeing that in the comments down below. All right, so we've got our green in the crease, no shade names. I know, I'm mad too. I mean, the possibility with Scooby-Doo of the shade names, you guys, they, they could have done so much, I feel like, with that. I'm gonna go with my Morphe JS, what is this, a six brush, and I'm gonna go with this like deeper kind of green, but like it looks like it has a little bit of a blue undertone, so we'll see what color ends up looking on the eye. Yeah, that's pretty green. And I'm just gonna lay it on the outer third there, create that lifted wing look that I really like on my eye shape. I find I've been doing like the same quote unquote eye look or like formula for an eye look lately over and over, but I'm not bored of it. Maybe you guys are, but I just use different color combinations to make it interesting, but I tend to do the same shape and things lately. I'm just taking the excess a little on the, the lower lash line there as well. Okay, so for shimmers, I'm going to try to keep it kind of lighter and go with these two. So I'm going to use this one. Wow, which finger are you moving? I'm going to use this lighter one on the inside and this slightly deeper one on the outside. They're pretty close. One is a little more lined than the other, I guess I would say. And I'm just going in with the same flat Cleona brush that I used in yesterday's look. I'm doing kind of the same pattern and thing, really. I'm using the deeper, darker shimmer to run up against the matte and placing it diagonally. I think these shimmers work really great with a flat brush like this. No glitter primer needed. And then with the other side of the same brush, I'm going in with the lighter, more like limey color shimmer, and that's gonna go on the inner portion here. So when you do two shimmers that are like similar colored like this, basically when I blend them together, it's almost gonna look like I just used one shimmer shade if I blend it well enough, and it's just gonna go from light to dark, but it'll still give you the dimension even though it kind of ends up looking like one shimmer. 
And then a lot of times I like to go in with my first brush and just kind of clean up here in the crease to make sure it's transitioning well. Yeah, and that's, I think, the eye look, guys. I enjoyed some of the other products I used so much yesterday. I think I'm going to use them again today. So these are the three sugar drizzle liners I used. Um, crowned Wood Nymph yesterday, and I'm going to go in with Cuckoo, Cuckoo Wasp? Cuckoo Wasp? I'm not sure. But it's this like green to purpley blue shift. Hopefully you can see on camera how they're all slightly different. I don't know if you can see like the reflective like duochromeness of them, but these are part of their Black Friday sale that's still going on as well. I'm gonna line with this more like greeny one, and then I'm gonna play with their uh, mini glow cube palette again too to see if we can find kind of a greeny highlight color. Maybe do something in the inner corner too. I didn't do that yesterday. Ah, uh, yes, I'm just loving these metallic shifty liners. That blue to green is so nice. These, yeah, and I don't think I had to dip in as many times with this one as the other one, so either the brushes or I don't know maybe it's just me maybe I just was less scared this time with this one while that's drying down before I curl my lashes I didn't show you guys this yesterday I mentioned it but I purposely didn't put my blush on yet so I'm gonna use this again I've been loving this, this is from Laura Lee this is uh, Laura Lee Los Angeles her brand the blush aesthetic cheek palette and I do believe that she said like once the stock's out of this one, they're not bringing it back, which I was kind of surprised. I thought this would be more of like a core product for her because she doesn't have any other complexion products to my knowledge. She's got some core eyeshadows and liquid lipsticks. But apparently this one's not coming back. Um, I think her site is 30% off site wide. So check this one out if you're interested. It's got a bunch of blushes and one highlighter in it. And I have really been enjoying this formula. I love that the pans aren't like, they kind of look big on, what am I trying to say, on camera. I don't know the exact like pan size to tell you, but I feel like these are more reasonable pan sizes. Like you could actually use it up and not be like, to me the Gimme Glow pan sizes are too big. I think I've said that before in my channel. So uh, since I have so much green going on, I'm gonna try to keep it like neutral. So I think I'm gonna mix this bridal pink, the shade up here with the caramel cream down here. So if I'm doing two shades like this, which I started doing this with um, Lunar Beauty's first blush palette and I love the effect. So I do like the deeper blush on top of like I have like bronze or contour down but I do like the deeper of the two blushes I'm using kind of like in the pocket or if you're blush draping even up to like the temples up here which definitely helps lift everything but I keep that darker color back here and then I take the lighter color and blend it into the front so here is the bridal pink which I actually haven't used this shade yet Oh yeah, that's something like nice and light that I feel like goes with like, you know, a more colorful bold eye look, but you still want like a little bit of a flush to the cheeks. Yeah, it's just really, I don't know, it's really nice. It's pretty natural if you're somebody that watches my channel that isn't into the crazy colors I sometimes do. This is a more potentially natural product for you. Really nice powder, pretty smoothing too, like smooths my texture a lot and yeah I just I really recommend this one guys all right just like yesterday I'm gonna use my BH Cosmetics Paradise Refresh Face Mist just because that really helped the highlighter pop yesterday setting spray just to me too in the winter time is a must because things start to look a little drier and cakier sometimes with my skin I don't know about you guys and my concealer lately has been looking really drying and cakey mm, it's a sweat and wild incognito one I'm kind of wondering if it's getting dry just because like it's almost out like I've had that one for a while so it might be some other thing going on I'm not sure oh, I had such a good time with this I'm hoping they're all just that same good quality I think I'm gonna try to do a couple different ones here so I think I'm gonna go because there appears to be different textures there's more of like a smoother one down here in the bottom that looks green I'm gonna take a Morphe M560 and try to go with that and just do that in the inner corner. 
Well, that's pretty. It's a lot uh, more white and almost gold than I thought. I thought it would be more green, but you know, gold really does go with this look in the lime too. So that's, that's fine. I'm not mad about it. It's just kind of not what I thought it was going to be. Just looking at it kind of in pan. So now I know that one's more of a gold, even though it kind of looks green in pan. And then I'm going to take the same brush I did yesterday, the Morphe JH09. And we went into the purple yesterday. Today I'm going to go into this one on the corner right here. My finger's hovering over it. That one looks the most green to me. I'm doing the same thing where I like pinch my brush to get in there since the pans are so teensy tiny. Oh magic magic oh I hope you can see that wow 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 galactic this tree says dead tried these I should tag her huh because wow <laughs> wow just wow these might be the most blinding highlighters I own genuinely I'm gonna have to compare them wow um, I'm, I will say like with the setting spray it gave me a little bit of a striped line so I'm just trying to like buff it out into the skin to make it look more natural <laughs> as natural as you know green highlighter does look on one this is too more of like a limey borderline yellowy looking chartreuse highlighter so that's good to know it does match the eye look very well though wow I mean, just, just wow. I'm still, this has been like all the items I've tried in this video. This is the one that's just blowing me away. Now I did look on their site, their sale, I'm sorry. This one is sold out right now. So maybe they'll restock it. So this one you won't be able to pick up in the Black Friday sale, but if they come back with this mini glow Q palette again, I'd snag it. They do have one that's slightly deeper shades. That is something, I think it's called like the Mermaid Cube or something like that. That's in the same little format, but both of these really good palettes really good i myself picked up the trick roar treat um limited edition palette and what else did i pick up another palette i think what other one did i pick up i don't know i don't remember in this moment but i will be doing a black friday haul video where i show you everything i got so stay tuned for that okay the eyeliner has finally set down so let me you know do my thing my little clampy clampy mascara situation and i'll be back to do the lip and we'll be done man this mascara too i think i said it yesterday but it feels like it's starting to dry out i love this when i first opened it it's been open for a while and some mascaras I like better after a while, like as they dry out and they're less liquidy so they don't transfer as much. But this was like the perfect consistency when I opened it. So now that it's been open, it's starting to dry out. But a little trick that I may need to do from me to you, if you get ones like that that start doing that, you can add like a drop of contact solution because obviously that's eye safe and kind of swirl it, swish it around with the wand, like do one of these and stir it in there. Sometimes that'll revitalize the formula a little bit so it's not so dry, but I'm telling you, a literal singular drop of contact solution. If you do more than that, you will regret it and it will be way too liquidy and you'll have to like leave it open to dry out because I've done that on accident before. I also went ahead and did just on like the outer portion of my waterline, the ColourPop X Raw Beauty Crispy Spare Time gel liner. Um, I didn't go all the way across because I don't really like dark colors all the way across. I feel like it really closes my eyes and ages me. But I like a little bit of pop of something and I don't think I actually own a light green for the waterline, like a chartreuse type color. Definitely something missing from my collection. I think I'm just going to go kind of icy today with the lips. So I'm going to do um, the Melt All Day Every Day Lip Liner in Foxy. Melt's doing a sale too, guys, and there are several palettes, the She's and Parties and the Smoke Sessions specifically that I really like, and they're on sale for like 28 or 30 bucks. But I have already also purchased, like I said, a couple other palettes, so I don't, I don't know. It's just a lot. So I kind of considered just doing their $25 mystery box. I've done those on my channel before. I'll leave link the last one if you're interested. And I got the blueprint palette in that one, so I still got a palette for less than what they sell it and other items like these lip liners that I have been loving from the brand. So I think I might just go that route this time around. 
but you guys let me know. Maybe I just need uh, you guys to be my like hold your horses girl person and like not purchase at all. But I would like more of these lip liners. I've been sharpening them down there. Wonderful. And then we'll finish with the gloss from Sugar Pill. They're also doing a Black Friday sale, of course. I feel like who isn't at this point? Well, I say that, but you know, if you watch my Black Friday sale video, there are some brands I was looking for that aren't doing them at all, which is fine. So this is in shade Purity. It's a little pinky, so I think it'll match the shirt, but I did that brown lip liner just to give it a little base of something. Because by itself, I think it looks really like icy, kind of white smells so good and I like it layered over that lip liner. I don't think I've ever done this particular combo before. Mental note taken. Alright guys, so here is the completed look. What do you guys think? I honestly kind of like the green eyeshadow with the pink long sleeve t-shirt. What do you guys think? Pink and green? Yeah. I, I like this a lot guys. Here is the other palette. My first time trying these Glam Light Scooby-Doo palettes. They both perform, I think, equally. Really nice. Not mad about really any of this stuff. And it makes me excited for the, the things I've purchased so far from Black Friday. So let me know what you think of the looks and what sales you might be shopping below. Or just say hello. How are you doing? And I hope to see you again on the next one. Bye.